Shama. G'day frothers, here we are again at the bench and today I've got the venerable Bosch Bulldog. Uh, so this is the uh, 26D, so 26 millimeter or you know, one inch and uh, D handle. So beautiful little unit, this, this one here, very nice. All right, so right into it, what is she like? So it uh, does have a light. No uh, vibration control uh, that I can see, but somehow it still feels like quite a quite a smooth ride, you know, compared to some of the other drills that don't have any vibration control on them. Um, the the big trigger here, oh boy, it's more like a paddle. Really comfy to hold for a long time. Uh, the the shape of the handle fits my hand quite nicely. Um, it's a little bit narrow, but you know, just what you're used to, I guess. Um, it does have the direction button up on the top, which, ah, you know, that'll happen. It's not not the nicest, I mean, if you're changing directions all the time, I guess you, you get used to that. But uh, like all the handles, it's, uh, it's a really nice, comfortable shape to use. You're just drilling right through there. Uh, so unlike some of the pistol grip ones, you know, you just hold it right where you need to hold it, and it's, uh, it's really nice. Um, so... Something else I noticed when I was using this was it's actually like pretty quiet, surprisingly quiet. So let's take a listen. And uh, listen to the motor too. Really like the sound of that motor for some reason. It's kind of calming. Now, if we compare that to the DeWalt, so it's a fair bit cheaper, this, this hammer, but you know, 26 millimeter D handle, same kind of deal. So how's this? Ugh. Sorry. Yeah, fair bit quieter, fair bit smoother to use for some reason. Uh, I guess while we're here, you know, this uh, the Bosch is fair bit longer, fair bit longer than the. Uh, than the DeWalt, but then this one is really quite small for a D handle. I'm not sure what difference that'll make in terms of comfort. I guess it's up to your preference, but I really like the feel of this one. It's got a nice rubberized handle there. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's pretty quiet motor-wise, um, but it also revs pretty slow. So I think it's around a thousand or nine, 950 revs or uh, RPM. There you go, 970. There you go, around 970. And um, you know what? I actually prefer that in a, in a hammer. Like the DeWalt and, you know, the Milwaukee and a bunch of the others, they, they all rev at sort of 1500 RPM and I don't really know why. Um, it's, in, in my mind, it's kind of just using up your battery faster because you don't, you don't need high revs for a rotary hammer if you're hammer drilling. Because, you know, the, the, the thing that does the cutting of the material is the hammering. The turning just cleans out the hole. Unlike in a, in a twist drill, it's actually the turning motion that does the work. So, yeah, really, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really see much need for such a high RPM as we see in some of the other tool, uh, drills. So maybe that's why I like this one. It's a little bit more mellow. And uh, what else have we got? So something I really like about the Bosch tools is they've got a, they've got just like a second little latch area there for the batteries. So you can whack your battery in, and I guess it's like a safety, like a carrying safety. So the battery's still in there, but the tool isn't going to activate. So I guess if you, you know, throw it in a box with a bunch of other shit, it's not going to be running. Um, so I do quite like that. And otherwise, this particular drill here, I noticed it ran really cool. So I did do some, some runtime testing on this one. Uh, again, in rock like I have with my other runtime tests, uh, I will get to concrete, guys, don't worry, but I just need to find a lot of concrete. Um, so I did do a, a runtime test, and I noticed doing during that that it, it seemed to run really cool. Like, obviously, the, the hammer mechanism and the chuck and stuff heated up, but all the motor and everything didn't, and I think it's because... It's just got this gigantic vent on the side here that just that just blasts out air. 
And also the main intakes are way the hell back here. So really far away from any heat that's being generated and the air just gets sucked right through. So it did seem to run nice and cool. And uh, oh boy, what else? I don't know, it's just a really nice unit. I really like this drill. This one was my first D-handle and uh, I gotta say, I'm glad I got it. Don't use it that much because I mean, I've got about 20 rotary hammers, but uh, yeah, anyway, let's get into the tests. All right, so we've see, seen the RPM, so let's check the weight. All right, so 2.6 kilos. So that's a little bit lighter than say the uh, M18CH from Milwaukee. Uh, let's head outside to our tree stump and uh, check the torque. Very nice, so the Bulldog gets uh, kind of middle, middle range of uh, my drills here. So 23 Newton meters in my test, which is yeah, not too bad. Uh, once again, as the, the Ryobi showed, you, you don't need torque to actually drill in, uh, in concrete. So um, yeah, you know, not too bad. Nice standard middle of the range. All right, so our next test is just the speed drill. So that is with our 14 mil drill bits. Oh, I need to look that up for uh, you Imperial types. Uh, a bit bigger than half an inch? Yeah, I don't know. I'll check. Uh, so 14 millimeters drilling in 100 mils, uh, so that's four inches or so, and uh, doing that a few times, and let's, uh, let's see how she goes. Well, all right, not too shabby. So 6.07 seconds for the Bulldog. That's pretty good. So she's only being beaten out there by the DeWalts. And, um, you know, DeWalt really seems to be going for power. So Bosch, I'm not exactly sure what Bosch is, Bosch is going for, but, you know, just reliability, nice feel, pleasant blue color. Not really sure, but uh, that's pretty good. You know, she beat the Milwaukee by a fair way. So, um, yeah, pretty good there. And uh, the final test that we do uh, with all the drills is checking their maximum capacity. So in this case, we got this uh, Renegade drill, so it's 26 millimeter drill, 26 millimeter rotary hammer. Um, yeah, so once again, we're just drilling in 100 millimeters or about four inches with the maximum capacity bit for this drill. And uh, let's check it out. Alrighty, so we've actually got a new winner for the uh, max capacity drill there. Just edging out the DCH133, which is the, the yellow beast we saw a second ago. Um, we have 19.8 seconds for the max capacity drill. Nicely done, Bosch. Yeah, so that's, that's, uh, that's interesting. So in terms of spec, these two are pretty similar drills. So two and a half joules, for the Bosch versus 2.6 joules for the DeWalt uh, in terms of impact force, impact energy, sorry. We got 4350 uh, nominal beats per minute of impact versus 5500. Uh, so a fair bit of difference there. And then the RPM is, uh, well, rated, rated, stated, stated to be 890 for the, uh, for the Bosch and 1500 for the DeWalt. Given those specs are actually in favor of the DeWalt, I would have expected the Bosch to not do quite as well. But, uh, well, you know, there are a lot of factors at, for, uh, at play here. So uh, I'm sure that kind of thing will come out 
as we progress with all this testing. One thing I do know though is the batteries are quite, uh, well obviously the batteries are just going to be the pretty much the biggest factor aside from the actual size of the tool and whatever. Batteries are going to be uh, determining you know how well the tool works. If we take a look at the box, whoop, how do we get those on here? Uh, they actually have this one sort of pictured with a core uh, 8 amp hour battery. So that's a you know higher output battery there. And um, yeah, interestingly, so the guys over at VCG Construction, they did a test with this drill with the big 8 amp hour battery versus uh, the corded version of this drill and the, the, the cordless actually beat it. So um, yeah, really interesting. Uh, I did have someone ask, uh, why don't I use, you know, the bigger batteries get full performance out of all these tools? Well, basically, I'm just going for average performance here. All the manufacturers make a 5 amp hour battery. That's kind of their standard. I mean, you know, there, there are others out there. There's the 6s and the, the high outputs and whatever. But I'm just going for standard performance right now. Um, and the best way to just do a straight comparison of, of standard performance is with the, the kind of standard battery. So, you know, at some stage I will get into all of that later on, but boy, if you add batteries on top of just all the different uh, rotary hammers, man, that's a, uh, that's a whole different ball game there. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Thanks, Bosch. Been very nice. Uh, scratch you later, guys.